Yo, what's up? This is Scott Talensky with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be leveling up our compass skills. So for the first time, we're going to be introducing compass here into the mix. So uh, what we're going to do in this tutorial is it's just going to be a brief overview. I'm going to show you how to install and create a project with compass. Um, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to add compass to a already made project. And then in the following lessons, we're just going to go over all the awesome features of Compass. So as you can see here, it says Compass is an open source CSS authoring framework. Um, it adds a ton of useful, useful mixins to SAS. Um, it makes developing a framework uh, really easy. Um, it's chock full of the web's best reusable patterns. So. Um, Basically, people love Compass for a lot of reasons, but mostly it's just really useful. Um, so to get into it, we're just going to install. And as you can see on the install page, um, it's really simple. So uh, I'm going to assume that you have Ruby installed, and I'm going to assume that you have Ruby Gems installed, um, as I did with the SAS. If you need help with that, you know, uh, let us know, and you know, we'll make a tutorial for um, installing Ruby or Ruby Gems. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do sudo gem install compass. It's going to ask for your password. And then uh, just give it a second, and it's going to be grabbing and installing the latest version of compass. Okay, as you can see, um, everything is installed. You can check here uh, to make sure by just doing compass, and you can do dash V, and it'll give you uh, what version you're on. So we're running compass 0.11.7 Antares. Um, it's copyrighted by Chris Epstein. And it gives you a link where you can uh, donate to a worthy cause here, which I suggest um, you check out or at least you know, uh, go to this address and, and read what it's about. Um, but yeah, so so the first thing we're gonna do is go to the directory we wanna be at. So we'll see where we are. Let's just go to the desktop. So on the desktop, we're just going to uh, create a test project here just for the sake of this tutorial. And we're gonna do compass, create, and then uh, we'll just call it test. Hit enter. As you can see, it has downloaded uh, and created on your desktop this test folder, and this has the uh, the files that you need to use Compass on your next project. All right, well that's it for installing Compass. In the next lesson, we're going to show you how to add Compass to an already existing project, and then after that, we're going to show you Compass's many useful features. As always, if you have any questions or comments, you know, please feel free to leave a comment on the video or hit us up on Twitter at LevelUpTuts. Once again, this is Scott with LevelUpTuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.